I named it immunity, man, because it's to the point where I'm just honestly immune, immune to a lot of shit, man, to everything that's going on around me. I don't think nothing bothers me no more. Like, I'm immune to it all, no matter what it is. Um, the bullshit, the hate. Uh, I'm even immune to to the fake love. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm just, I'm really immune to it all. And um, I think this project speaks exactly of that. Um, it's not a very sexy project, if that's what you want to call it. It ain't, it ain't, um, it ain't what I wanted it to be. I didn't want it to be sexy. You know what mm. I mean? I wanted it to really be, um, I don't want to say dark. But I wanted to really speak on that other side. I didn't want to um want to be glamorous. I didn't want to talk about cars. I didn't want to talk about houses. I didn't want to talk about women, trips. I didn't want none of that to be talked about. I wanted to really just talk about the other side of this of this this real um this real life mm. that goes on with the streets. You know what I mean? That's that's what I really want to express the other side of what's glamorized. You know what I mean? And all in totality throughout my life, you know what I'm saying? That that's been an issue throughout my life. Um Having that other side, going through that other side, going through the trials and tribulations, just my family going through it. It's, it's been something that's, I don't know if it's hereditary. My, my uncles was in, in and out of jail. My mamas was in and out of prison. And then, you know, it kind of led down to me. And it's just like, you know what I mean? I think that's just something that's always been a part of our family. I talk about it because I hate it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, want, I want it to be written of, you know what I'm saying? And, and also recent events, you know what I mean? I just had a good friend that, that supported me so well in this music thing, man. Every time I posted something, he was behind me, he was posting it. He was like, hey, shout by he on the radio, boy, we on the radio, boy, you know what's gonna be? And he, he was one of those guys I had in my heart, you know, you know what I'm saying? As soon as, as soon as this music thing take off, man, I'm, I'm coming to get you, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna let you be out here, you know what I mean, like that. And then he, he got caught in a situation, that shit hurt me to my core, you know what I mean? And then, it made me look at shit a, a, a whole lot different. You know, I, the opportunity that I got, I really got to take advantage of it, man. All Just confessions, man. Nothing. It's exactly what it, what it says. It's a, um, it's a street nigga confession. You know, um, it's my confession about my life, about um, about the streets, how I feel about things right now. Um, confession about a lot of shit that I did, a lot of shit that I ain't proud of. Um. And just my confession about how I feel about um, right now in the totality, how I feel about people, how I feel about my surroundings, and uh, it's just a real confession, man. It's just truth, truth, truth. That's all I did, just express myself and confessed on how I felt. Oh man, statistics. Um, I think they kind of again speaks for itself, man. It's so many of us getting caught up in this system and becoming statistics, man. And um, it was something I, I wanted to talk about. Um, I didn't want to become. You know what I'm saying I pray that. A lot of us don't become, you know what I mean? Don't become a statistic. And I want to just put that out there, man, and um, just let it be known that it, we, we, we can become that easily, you know what I'm saying? And I think Charleston White did a good job coming on there and um, speaking about it, and speaking the facts, speaking the numbers, and, and showing the, the facts, the statistics. Uh, in this one, you can kind of get we talking about the young black youth. Mm-hmm. We talking about the inner city youth, the un underprivileged kids that have to go through those obstacles and take those risks and those chances those are the people that we um the statistics we talking about in mm-hmm. our in our song and um the percentage that's behind prison that's that's what we talking about uh manipulation again i think i think we spoke on um last um uh, last podcast but um that was just a heartfelt moment between me and the rest um like i said we both were going through something in our life where we felt Felt manipulated, felt like our loyalty had betrayed us, and um, it came out. It came out. It, it, it spoke on that song, man. That we both felt manipulated, and I think it touched. It touched the world. You know what I mean? I think a lot of people felt the song. It picked up real well. It's doing real well, and um, I decided to put it on this album. You know what I mean? It hadn't been on no project yet. It was just a single. You know, you know, bigger ranking. He heard it. He loved it. So he was like, "Oh, short. Gotta have that short." You know what I mean? So I, I gave it to him. It could be family. It could be family. friends. It could be um, the closest ones to you, man, that can manipulate you into um, some of the worst situations you know what I mean, of your life. Toxic. Oh, man, that was, that, that's a sample uh, with, with your girl, Summer Walker. Uh, Say, mom. Very hot song right now with what she got going on about um, this men versus women thing, like a men versus women war. Um, I think Toxic speaks about Sometimes how men feel when um he caught up in a a woman and um he's not happy in his situation, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes he may 
feel like he got into a woman and she's not coming apart and she's not becoming the woman he thought that she may become and um he wanted more of her and she don't want more of herself and um maybe that can affect a man sometimes and, and, and lead him to walking away from a marriage or walking away from a situation um because he's unhappy and um you know they'll downplay a man because he walked out but you would rather him be here unhappy than to you know what i mean than to leave so it's, it's it's toxic, you know what I mean? I think it speaks that in the song. It talks about me kind of leaving, um, you know, a woman with, with two kids and me talking uh, to my mother about it, not wanting to do it, you know what I'm saying? Because knowing I need to be here for these kids and provide, but at the same time, I ain't happy. So how, how do I do this? Do I stay here and fake it? Or, or do I go ahead and close this door and do what we need to do and, and move forward? Nah, I ain't gonna put this on personal life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but you can. You know what I mean? I've had similar situations. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say exact situations where I've had to make a decision with am I gonna be happy or if I'm gonna make you happy. You gotta see things for what they are. And um, sometimes you can ignore that by seeing the best in people. You can see the best and, and ignore the truth. You know what I'm saying? And um, sometimes that happens in men, they get involved in these women that they see the best in and they see the best in, but you ignore the truth of what, what's really real and that happens. It's oblivious that the streets don't love nobody, man. You can ask anybody that's got any sense. I've been here in these streets. Or anybody that so-called call themselves a street guy or anything, they're going to they gonna tell you the truth about that. That ain't no, um, I don't even think that's a debate. And if you, you think the streets love you, you're a damn fool. So just being honest with you. If you believe that, go on, go on down that road and see what your family do. Right, right. It mainly is the, um, just the topic, the, um, the title song, or the whole um, mixtape. And it, it just states the fact that I'm just immune to, um, immune to it all. I'm immune to the hate. Like I said, I'm immune to the fake love. Um, I'm immune to just the bullshit. Uh, I'm just like every, don't let it bother me no more, man. Like I'm, I'm really just like so at so at ease and so immune. Like they gave me the shot. Like I'm cool. Whatever it is, whatever happened, I'm cool. Like I'm got so immune to all of it. You know what I'm saying? So it's just what it is now. You know what I mean? Uh, it just speaks on how I feel. I'm, I'm immune. Like it, it's been so many shots thrown at me. It's been uh, so much hate came towards me um so much hurt so much um betrayal uh pain anguish it's like it, it, what can you do it ain't nothing else i'm immune to it all you, you can't you can't see that it can't let <laughs> fuck with me you know what i'm saying it's just like i'm immune to it so it's like it ain't no other no better topic for this than to tell you it's, it's immunity it's just, oh. I done been through so much bullshit, I swear that I'm immune to it. They be laughing at most of these niggas. Cut this shit like a cartoon.